everybody. Welcome back to Recordology. Okay, today we're going to look at another CD player. This one is by Hot. And I've seen this a lot on Amazon. And they reached out to me and they're like, hey, do you want to check out the CD player? Well, you guys know I love CD players, so I couldn't turn it down. Yes, absolutely. Let's take a look at it. On the side here, this is the model, model CELO Black. And we've got over here... And this is actually the name of the either the distribution company or maybe the company that makes it. I'm not 100% sure. Travel and Car Black. And then let's see if we have anything else around the rest of this side of this thing. Yeah. Let's look on the bottom here. CD204. Looks pretty cool. Made in China. All right, let's open it. Box feels quality. Love good packaging. Nothing on the inside there. The device itself, just sitting right there, wrapped in plastic, kind of in this carton thing. Let's set that aside. What else do we got in here? Registration information. It's like a manual. Let's see if we need that. I'm not sure. But hold on to that. Cabling wise, we've got an aux cable here, just a mini to mini. A USB. I don't know anything about this CD player, by the way. We're going to discover it together. I think it's rechargeable. So yeah. Okay. Mini USB. Oh, nice. And a pair of headphones. They are in-ear headphones. And that's it. So let's put our accessories in there. And take a look at the CD player itself. Pushed on the bottom a little bit, popped right out. Nice. I love the reveal of anything. Right off the bat, I love the fact that unlike some CD players we've, re we've reviewed recently, modern ones, that this has a matte finish instead of a glossy finish. Otherwise, they're just a fingerprint magnet. They look great when you first open them up and then they never look that way again. So a nice matte finish here. We've got love pulling those off just pristine now look at the finish beautiful beautiful okay the buttons are plastic good click all right let's look underneath all righty got rubber feet so it does apparently it's not a rechargeable okay double a battery so i've got a couple here here. I mean, these are rechargeable batteries. So in a sense, I guess it's rechargeable. Very cool. Let's look around the edge here. Okay, so it does have the, um, the micro USB, so that'll be for power. That's a pretty popular feature they're doing now. So if, if it doesn't, you know, have an internal battery to charge, you can power it off of the USB while it's sitting there. It's can run off of that. So you don't have to have the batteries in for that. Headphone jack. There's the open latch. And that's it. So I guess the volume control is done on top. It is indeed. So let's go ahead and open it up. Maybe. Possibly. Okay, sliding it to the right. There is the CD mechanism itself. Pretty standard fare, looks good. I mean, I honestly don't know enough to look at it. Oh yeah, that's a XBY9304, you know? <laughs> I have no idea, looks good to me. It does have the indent for the three inch disc as well as the five inch. And there's the ribbon cable connected to the bottom of the display, which is on top. So let's go ahead and put a CD in. In the uh, Back to the Future soundtrack, because why not? All righty. So, stop looks like it's a power button as well. All right, backlit display, liking it, liking it. Very nice. And I just pressed that. I haven't pressed play, okay. ASP would be anti-skip. Okay, so it does go into play automatically. And then you can obviously skip through it at that point as well. Okay, 
We've got EQ choices here, bass boost, pop, jazz, rock classic, and that's it. So I will probably usually leave it on that. There's a memory button. Oh, it also is a mode. Oh, it's a mode button. I don't know if that's memory too or just mode. So repeat one, repeat all, intro. I always thought that was a weird feature. Shuffle. Interesting. Press and hold to lock, presumably. Okay, hold is on. Press and hold to release. All right, so that's, that's it. It looks like it's not programmable. Those are the functions that it gives you. Now, let's look at the display like this. You can see all of the possible options. Look at that Bluetooth indicator, light, in, not indicator, not light, indicator. Very interesting. I'm going to turn the display light on again. It doesn't have that feature. There's low battery thing, the hold, directory. Okay, yeah, it does play MP3s. So if it's got a directory button, you know it does. So we'll test that out as well. Looks cool. Awesome. Yeah. Pretty simple stuff. All right, let me go out. Sorry about the dog. Hey, nobody wants to hear you barking. Nobody wants to hear that. They want to hear music on the CD player. All right, guys, hang in there. I'm going to see what's wrong with the dog <laughs> and get a speaker and we'll listen to it. Okay, I've got the speaker connected and let's go ahead and test it out. So back to the future music. Obviously, it's going to be hard to give you an accurate representation of the sound quality. I'm going to have to do that off camera, but I can show you the functionality anyway. Classic soundtrack. just listening on this little hey, Walmart speaker so it is not stereo I mean the sound we're hearing is not stereo the device is obviously capable of stereo okay I'm gonna go ahead and connect the an mp3 CD connect no I'm gonna put an mp3 CD in there and we'll test out that capability as well okay I put the mp3 CD in James Stewart, and here we go We've got some old time radio on here. Here's a last minute Christmas now, shopping suggestion. The display looks a lot clearer than that. It's just the fact that I'm we're shooting at a weird angle here. In fact, let me just fix that. I want you to get an accurate representation of it. That angle. That's what it really looks like. So I'll just hold it like that. How about that? <laughs> So it doesn't look like it reads off file names. It just gives you a track number. By the way, what you're hearing is The Six Shooter, which was a 1950s old-time radio show. Very actually late in the run of old-time radio uh, as an industry, but a great show with Jimmy Stewart. Old Westerns love it. All available for free online. Presents Hollywood. Okay, you guys know what I listen to when it comes to MP3s. So now I'm curious. A lot of times these will also play wave files. I believe this one does too. Okay, let's find the English instructions, shall we? Uh, okay, there's not much. We've got two panels of this display, so. We got the USB instructions, insert disk, press the power button, and then we've got explanation of the controls, which we figured out already. Common problems analysis. Yeah, okay, so it's a very basic CD player. It really, really is. Okay, let me do this, guys. I'm going to listen to it off camera i'm not going to make you watch that because that would be weird and i'm going to give you my final thoughts i'm going to try out the headphones that came with it and some nicer ones as well just a word on the headphones here kind of an interesting design 
Let's see if I can get this in focus here. So it's a very grippy, rubbery texture, and it looks like the outer coat is somewhat translucent. So it's got like kind of this braided look. Very, very interesting. And that's what the uh, headphone itself looks like. I'm not a huge fan, as you guys know, of in-ear headphones, and these do feel light, but they may work just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it all out, let you know here in a sec. Doing a little drop test here. It looks like it's rock solid in performance. You can shake it, you can drop it. No issue whatsoever. You can't turn that feature off though. Okay guys, um, I spent some time with it. I listened on both the built-in headphones, built-in, the included headphones and the Grados as well. And here are my thoughts. First of all, build quality on the device is excellent. I love the matte finish. I think that's done really well. That was a wise decision. It feels solid, it feels quality, it's on par with anything we've reviewed so far. I think that the uh, menu system and the uh, controls are fine. It is pretty basic. When I say that, I mean it doesn't have programmability. It does have repeat, those kinds of functions, intro, shuffle. It just doesn't really have the programmable. That's the missing piece. It does play MP3s fine, does a good job with that. And in terms of the sound quality of these, I was actually a little surprised actually. Um, the bass actually hits pretty dang hard. Now, as I said before, I'm not a huge fan of in-ear earbuds. I just like squirt out every time I hate. No matter how dry and clean my ears are, I can't manage to keep these in no matter what size cup I use or anything. Uh, that being said, I was able to have them in for a while and they actually had amazing bass. There is a little bit of hiss. These particular ones were matched well, meaning that the loudness of each was pretty close. And that's just off the line. You know, you may get one that's a little louder than another, and that center, that stereo image is going to shift one way or another. Uh, whereas higher end headphones like these, they pair these drivers so that they have the same output voltage and therefore the, the stereo image is centered. It's kind of hit or miss on stuff like this. These particular ones weren't bad. The sound staging was there. Stereo imaging was good. So yeah, better than expected. A little bit of hiss, a little bit of hiss, but when I upgraded to these, hiss went away. A very rich, luscious sound stage, gorgeous sound, pristine, no hiss whatsoever. And uh, yeah, so the DAC in here I think is fine. I think the, these headphones are probably introducing a little bit of hiss. Uh, great sound. I did notice on some classical stuff, I was listening to uh, some Star Wars. In the quieter passages, I had to crank up the volume to like 25-ish, close to 30, and the max volume is 35. So I know some people like a loud CD player. This is definitely not the quietest one, but it's not the loudest either. So it's kind of middle of the range. I did get up there in the higher end volume settings to get those quieter passages to play. I was trying to get them to be a bit loud. So in order to get those loud, I don't know if I ever would say I got the quiet passages loud, but to get them up there, I really had to get up to 25 to 27, 28. I didn't try cranking them, but you can do that. Um, on pop music, I listen to more of the Back to the Future soundtrack. You know, don't have to do that. You know, down 15 to 17, 18 was plenty loud. So a lot of factors go into that, obviously. So at the end of the day, I think this is a very good unit. I'm very pleased with it. I think it's a quality design. It's unique. And um, it's great to be able to play those MP3s. I wish I had a built-in battery. Now, some people say, no, 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 this is a blessing that it has the, uh, the removable batteries because when the uh, internal batteries, rechargeable batteries die, you're done. I mean, you can't really replace them. End of story. Whereas these, you can keep them going, keep fresh batteries in it, and the overall lifespan of the device will be around for a long, long time. Then obviously you can, you know, play it, power it, off of USB, and I think that will shut off the battery consumption during that time. I think it'll do that, pretty sure. Again, the manual didn't have a whole lot of information, so time will tell, but so far, highly recommended, and um, very happy to have this in the collection. As you know, I collect these portable CD players. Don't have a ridiculous collection, but anybody that has more than one these days is kind of ridiculous, so I guess I am. But anyway, that's gonna do it for today, guys. If you are interested in this device, link is in the description below. Great deal on this unit. I think right now the price is very fair at, over at Amazon. So feel free to cash in on that and support the channel at the same time. And speaking of the channel, have you hit subscribed yet? If not, would you please consider doing that? It would be a big, big help to me and a thumbs up. And obviously comment down below. Let me know what you think. 
and I'll be happy to answer as many of those comments as I possibly can. We get a lot of them now, which is a blessing I'm super thankful for. But anyway, that's going to do it for now, guys. Happy record hunting, happy CD listening, whatever it is. We will see you tomorrow.